notifications right away. Did you let yeah. me know in the let's chat? Let's give it another couple minutes. Let's let's, let's wait till the, there's 50 in here and then we'll go. For All the, right, sounds good. Let's talk about what let's do love bites first. What are you expecting with Fami in the band? What do you think? I wait, so with Fami in the band. Yeah, she's playing in this song. I don't think that's too much of a spoiler. I hope not. But, but um, no, I'm I'm sure I heard that before and just forgot until this moment again. But I I don't know what what to expect honestly. Like I've only heard the one teaser, right? Mm. And uh, she sounded good, you know. Um, but it was it was hard to tell. It was like a song that they had already written, right? And uh, it wasn't oh, like a that's new right. One. That's right. We did watch that. Look, you remember more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just remember that, like, she was in it. And I, I remember thinking, like, okay, this is cool. But, like, I, I want to hear her, like, as part of an original song. Because, you know, I, I know that, like, most bands have, like, somebody that writes it. But I think it's, uh, you know, whenever you see, like, the music credits and stuff like that. Yeah. I always get curious because it'll be, like. Let's say they say that like the music credits shows like the the lead guitarist as like the songwriter for the song, right? Mm -hmm. And the bassist, let's say, is not mentioned in those yeah. credits. Does that does that mean to you that the bassist didn't write their own lines for the song? Because to me, that's not the, what that means. To me, that, that means that they just didn't write like the melodies of the song. But they're still. I don't oh. think the guitarist is writing the bass line and then telling the bassist what to play, right? You mean like something like this, right? Where it says music by Asami Mao, lyrics by mm -hmm. Asami. I think that's what you're talking about, like stuff like that. It, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it just means that they didn't write it. They didn't write the music. They didn't give them credit for music writing. But Right, but, but that they bassist. Had a, they had to write the lines, though. Right, point. and like the drummer, right? Like the drummer is still writing their own drum beats. Yeah, it's yeah, not exactly. like the person that wrote the <laughs> music yeah. wrote the drum beats and then said, hey, drummer, so, do this. You know, that's a really good point, though, and that's an argument with a lot of bands. Like, I think that was like one of Metallica's issues, like giving song credit, right? Like Lars had song writing credits, right? And there that was a whole fight, like, well, you just played the drums on it. But if somebody like structures a song, you get writing credit or if somebody if you're part of the song structure writing or the lyric writing or the actual composition, as in what comes first or last then you get put in the credits if, right if you're not and i feel like if it would not it would part also, of that you're not in the credits right so it's like if i if i were to hand something to you and say write a part for this you're not going to be in the credits for that like because that part is already written i'm just saying add your own exactly. you know uh whatever to it like so but but the way that i view that is like that bassist or that drummer they still had to take that 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 melody that was handed to them and add their own part to it so yeah. they are going to be writing something even if they're not credited for for the writing of the actual song itself so from my you know perspective when you when you watch like you know what we saw earlier with the trailer and her being in and doing like an older song it doesn't really give you that much of an impression mm -hmm. of what it's going to be like because yeah. that she's playing somebody else's bass part right so yeah. in this time i have no idea what to expect out of her because i feel like i've never heard her write her own original bass part yet yeah um i will tell you this it definitely sounds like she wrote her own bass parts i doubt anybody wrote it for her so my internet is dipping in and out this really sucks guys i don't know if it's dipping in and out for you guys um or if it's just on my end yeah hey chat if you guys are having any internet issues if you see us freezing or anything just let us know in the chat Otherwise, i know there's uh there's uh, at least uh 50 of you in here right now so um, i know some of y'all are listening <laughs> Help us out. Uh, I will. Uh, let me see if I can fix this real quick. I'm really sick of this fucking internet here, man. Like, it's just ongoing issues. Like, it never gets resolved. I've had people out here so many times. It's just, I, I just need. Can we somehow blame the government? I don't know why all of a sudden right now, though. All right, I'm going to. Yeah, I don't see the chat moving, and there's people here. So that, that's another thing. I don't even know if. My chat's working right now. Um, I, I'm not the the chat. I just saw one message pop in, so I think it's just a it's just a slow chat day right now. Oh, gotcha. Here, let me close. Yeah, I I closed it out because dude, it was like going in out in out. There's no way we're gonna stream like that. Dude okay. is still is still doing it. I don't know what to. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Well. 
Wow. Yeah. This is that was a good conversation too. And I just got Are you guys having like uh crazy winds over there too? I don't know. I I not we were yesterday, but still this is this is ridiculous, man. It's like literally oh, it's going worse. it's going three thousand, four thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, two thousand. Like it's not like the thing that pisses me off is that there's a setting on here that says it'll just regulate that when it does go in and out like that and it's not regulating it at all. And it's like, Yeah, it the... seems like a lack of stability is the issue right now. Um there's been guys there's been terrible weather all over the country as you know and i've been actually having internet issues myself i think that the the whatever fucking wires are used or satellites are used or whatever i don't know how the internet fucking works man <laughs> that, is, that is forever going to be unbeknownst to me yeah but uh i i think due to the weather it's probably affecting it in one way or another uh, let me go check the cable guys i'm gonna let champ talk i'll be right back Hi everybody! I'll just give some shout outs to the chat while we're uh, while we're waiting for this to go down. Let's see who who's in here with us today. Season day, cool. I'll be back. Where you where'd you go? Season day. Uh, Istrogen. Hey, what's up, man? Istrogen. Uh, low spec Linux <laughs> laptop. <laughs> it's a funny name, man. I appreciate that. Krauser. Merry Christmas to you, my my dude. Adi Radu. Ah, rock on. Kim Star. What up, Grace? Hero. Krauser. I G me. The sound is stable, though. Okay, that's good. I've got a very stable voice. What can I say? That's just natural. It has nothing to do with the internet. I break through the internet with my voice. Create create stability. Hello, Danaz. What's up, my friend? Yeah. So, who in here in the chat has already heard these songs? Because I know that like everybody else in the guys and guys have heard the Love Bites song already, but I haven't heard that one. So this is this is more for me. <laughs> I was like, Alan, you get your ass up here and lay. I want to watch some Love Bites. And he was like, Okay, and you got it. Uh, Jean Ribeiro Belesque. you have cool, Krauser. Oh, you you guys have heard all both of them, huh? Which one do you like better? Which one's tickling your fancy on this Christmas Eve uh, mid-afternoon? Unlucky Morpheus or Love Bites? I'm not going to lie. The uh, Unlucky Morpheus thumbnail looks cooler. <laughs> it got me. It's so colorful this time. They're usually like all black, white, and gray. Maybe a little red thrown in there. This one's got like all kinds of colors and shit. It looks like it's... Oh, I sit down and I see... If... I don't know, guys. I'd have to restart my computer. That's the only other thing I can do. Oh, that's, that's well. Uh, I don't know if we got the uh, momentum for that one there, Alan. Uh, yeah. We might have to just put this off to another day if that's the case. Um, let's if we see. can't trust the internet, because the last thing I want to do is actually do reactions to this song and, and th then be gone for forever because we have internet issues. All right. I'm going to hit record right now. Um, so. It's still fluctuating. I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's going. Uh... All right, let's give it. Uh, let's give it five more minutes. See if anything changes. And if it doesn't, I think we might have to just. Uh, we might have to put a hold on this until we have a better internet connection another day. Yeah, this sucks. <clears throat> it is what it is. It happens. You know, it's nothing that we could control about that you know <clears throat> unlucky morpheus normally do some dope songs anyway yes jean they absolutely do i think unlucky morpheus is like uh unlucky morpheus to me is like one of the best bands out there especially when it comes to like technical aspects you know they are just they just know their way around instruments like nobody else fucking does man I mean, not that Love Bites, <laughs> you know, Love Bites does too, but uh, Unlucky Morpheus, you know, they've they've just got that uh that that super classical feel to them, so I think that it kind of enhances the the technical aspect because they're going back into like the modal times, you know. Yeah, the the neoclassical in uh, Unlucky Morpheus is really good. Um, it's so cool. It's such a cool concept. Like there are some bands that I've heard that have tried it before, but most of them only do it like kind of good. You know, yeah. I, I like the classical pieces that they would be like, I don't know, referencing or or, or using as like a as an idea uh, are usually so much more technically intricate than the the bands that are trying to do that in the metal world. 
Mm-hmm. But Unlucky Morpheus to me like does a great representation like of what classical music would be if it is metalized. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then just Love Bites song um is gonna smash all your expectations of Love Bites, I think. Uh it's really good. Really, really good. Um I'm excited about that one too, man. I mean <clears throat> It's, it's weird that they have a different basis, but uh, if I'm being totally honest, like if I'm being totally honest, like I rarely paid attention to the old bassist, I think, just because I was always so infatuated with the guitar work in Love mm. Bites. It's really hard for me not to not- notice just the guitar work constantly when Love Bites is playing because the two girls are just so freaking good and at it, you know? I'm glad you said that because that was my point on the comments. Like, I, guys, we we're just talking, of course, by the way, my Love Bites comments. I was like... The thing is, when you walk away from Love Bites, do you remember Midori, Miyako, and Asami, um, mainly? You know, I know you have Haruna on drums and stuff, and um, and Haruna's like killing it. She's definitely killing it. But you you remember certain members, right? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And my point is, during the chat was like, you kind of when you hear this Love Bites, you walk away going like, okay, now I'm talking about the basis also. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I, like, I, I wonder if that's talking... because you were focused on the bassist or because the bassist made you focus on it. Well, I never talked about the bass, though. I never, yeah. l- like, if you check out all my Love Bites re- reactions, it's about the guitarist and the singer a majority of the time. And that's just a fact. Not saying that the drummer wasn't good, not saying that the bassist wasn't good, because they were. They held it down. They they held it down, right? Like, the, nothing yeah. wrong with it. But um i feel like with fami in there you listen to it and you're like now you're walking away going like holy shit the bass hey. also <laughs> you know interesting see yeah that gets me excited because it is because with love bites more than i think other bands you're absolutely right like the drummer and the, the other bassist yeah they were really really good like they're really really good it's just that the guitarists are so on another level for most guitarists uh that it's just like they are just prominently featured exactly every time. you know and you it's just gonna happen help it. It. It's gonna happen in any band. It just is, you know. Like, um, I'm sure you're you're a fan of. Oh, you're a fan of Guns N' Roses, right? Um, think yeah. about the members that get mentioned the mo- most. Everyone forgets about Iggy. <laughs> like, it's true. <laughs> I mean, but he was a really good fucking guitarist. Um, but he's forgotten about. We talk about yeah. Slash and Axel. That's well, all because that's all. The you're just talking name about Slash is and Axel. Duff. I like. I think is that's the name. Duff McKagan yeah, or whatever. Duff McKagan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like. I mean, we, we, we know those two. It's just it's going to happen in a band. So it's kind of interesting to see a bassist match the skill level of the guitarist. Um, That's going to be cool. I don't know if I even have enough fucking brain power to like <laughs> to add another member into that group to focus on. I'm going to try. I'm going to open it up a little bit more. My brain's a little too small um low spec and that's the other good point i noticed the drums afterwards when i checked it out a second time noticing the accents and everything that she did and those are amazing and i mentioned it in my second love bites video dude i made three love bites videos already (laughs) that's how good this song is um it seems like our stream is just not gonna work i'm getting yelled at by youtube i i have a feeling it might also be my cable i was trying to see if it's being pinched but, yeah, it looks like people were saying that I was getting stable, but you just dropped on on my end. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, now everything's at like a five frames per second. Everything should be good right now. Haruna. Anyways, my point is Haruna is good. Like, very awesome. Uh, whenever Mao is involved, gold is assured. Who Can somebody give me information about Mao, who Mao is? Mao, Mao. Yeah, because she helped write the music. Oh, interesting. You um, know, I I always find that interesting too. When you have like a band uh, that has like a person that's attributed to the writing process that's not actually playing in the songs. Mm. You know, I've because I I just I just assume like bands at this level are especially with the talent involved. You know, uh, are probably just writing their own music without any help from the outside. But I guess it's like more like in the asian countries it seems like it's more of a um everybody seems to be a part of the process um, you know like the whole team is part of the process rather than just Mal, the people that you Mal, see on the stage Mal's probably the producer and producers normally have a hand in writing it's kind of like bob rock for metallica that was their producer for the black album mm. so they he, mm. he gets writing credits in those songs Okay, Jean says Mao plays keyboard uh, in plays Unlucky keyboards. Morpheus, which I, I don't know if I've ever noticed a keyboard in their song. Yeah, before. there is keyboard. So a lot of synths, background music kind of fills it up. Oh, yeah. Um, the... 
Yeah, it's a very gothic wow. sounds a lot of the time. That's right. You know, I feel like I gave the credit that credit to the violinist, like pretty much every time. Yeah. Now I will say this: like, it is interesting that they put music by Asami and Mao. So if this was in the U.S., it'd say music by Asami producer it would be Mao. Yeah, you know, we would call it a producer. I don't unless know. there is unless there is keyboard in this song and the keyboardist wrote, shared in the actual structure. The structure song. Yeah. So she plays keyboard. Um he oh it's a he, sorry. I'm keep saying she, my bad. Um Mal worked on a lot with Fuki since they were together in Lightbringer. He helps a lot of Love Bites and Lonesome Blue. And he also wrote that um helped write that new Lonesome Blue song. I saw that comment, hey to see you. Thanks for letting me know. Um Face to Fear. Have you checked out that cool. song yet? Uh, the Lonesome Blue one? No. Yeah. No. No, not yet. Damn, dude. We got, we got I'll get that. there. I'll get there. I'm so far behind, man. I did like a... I, I still have like 10 songs from my last stream that I got to clip out before <laughs> I even start a new I, one. I was laughing. It looked like my internet stabilizing slowly. So right now I'm looking at it. It's been stable. So we're about to start, guys. We're giving people just a few more minutes. But uh, let's see if it stays there. I'm so sorry. I feel bad because Jam has to get going, too. Um, in a little bit here. But... What was I going to say? I was going to say something, and I don't remember now. Fuck. I don't remember. I don't Anyways. know, man. I'm not in your head. I don't think but, I can uh, But, yeah, that's awesome that Mal helped uh, write those songs. That's really cool. There's something else I was going to tell you. But I think you're going to love both these songs, man. All right, let's go ahead and get started then. Let's try doing the Love Bites. I just want to give uh, – we talked about it in the news a while back. Um, it's funny because somebody came across that video and they thought it was about the new music video and it wasn't. <laughs> They're like, this is better than the Gaijin guys show. I'm like, that wasn't a reaction, by the way. <laughs> that was just us yep. talking about it come out. So this video clip, Judgment Day, uh, taken from Love Bites, is going to be on the comeback album Judgment Day on February 22nd, 2023. The video will, clip will be available digitally on December 24th. That's today. Oh my god, we could check out the whole album today, guys. Wow. Uh, Love Bites with a new formation, welcoming the bassist Fami, will release his fourth original album on Wednesday, February 22nd. Uh, the limited editions A and B will have a documentary video of the auditions, including an interview with the band on the day of the bassist auditions and an interview with Fami, who will still who was still one of the finalists then. So she was one of those finalists. Um, I know we were talking about that during our last. Yeah, I was wondering about it. They will also include the four full studio sessions of the hammer of wrath, golden destination, shadow maker, as well as Bravehearted. The first song, the five members played together after Fami joined the band and really cool. That's like, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Wait. So they're going to have a documentary of all the auditions. That's fucking sick, man. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. I so we're going to get to see like the eliminations. Dude, I wish I, could, <laughs> I know. I, I wish I could afford that, man. I was, I was like, this is probably gonna be like a hundred dollars or something. Yeah. Mm. True. I got their last uh, CD that, that big one where it came with like a shirt and stuff. That was a pretty good deal. I was like a shirt mm. CD and stuff. That was good. I I'm sure this is going to be up there, but Guys, uh, go check it out. It's already available. If you guys, has anyone checked out the album yet? That's in the chat. Yeah, that that is crazy though. That is such a cool idea. I'm glad they they did that because I feel like we were talking about it for so long and then it just it just ended like our talks because they weren't showing any new stuff uh, in regards to it. And I just I, I wondered the whole time like what what happened? How did it go down? We saw like the first round and then it was like nothing after that. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, and we're gonna get a whole documentary. All right, guys, we got stable internet. Everything looks like it's good. So we're going to go ahead Except and get going. I can't see you anymore. Oh, you don't need to see me. That's no, kidding. <laughs> can you see me now? There, there we go. There All we right. go. I can see you and the, and the video. Turn on that lovely original sound. Okay. It's been too long, man. I am ready for this. Dude, I can't, I can't wait to see Champ's face, honestly. I'm going to be looking at Champ this whole video. <laughs> I've already mm. heard it. <laughs> All right. So Champ's first time, my 100th. Um, let's go.
they just come out the gate with tapping. They I just. <laughs> This is Love Bites? <laughs> this, is a, this sounds so different than all of their intros I've ever heard before. I just was, the, love... d- 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 was that the bass? Like yeah, a distorted a bass? No, that was a guitar in the back. Oh, uh, that's a guitar? It sounds cool. I, I mean, even the way that they, they turned her breath at the end into like... You know how like when you're when you're writing a song, like when you're doing the mixing for a song, you add a riser before the yeah, big drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> her voice was the riser. Her breath. <gasps> exactly. <laughs> it was like getting higher in pitch. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Back it up. Back it up five so I could get into it. All right. Yeah, Midori's jacked. Good lord. Yo, yo. <laughs> I know we're about to check out Unlucky Morpheus, but dude, this this song itself is reminding me more of Unlucky Morpheus. I, I know, right? When you were saying that right now, I was like, you know what? That this song gives me Unlucky Morpheus vibes. It does. Like it's got that gothic sound. And it's got like that that offbeat sort of timing to it also. It's also fast as fuck, man. Like the song is super fast. Dude, look at I Miyadori's uh badass haircut. She's oh my god, out. I didn't even see that. Jesus, look at this. So, look at that. <laughs> so toned, perfect tan. I'm like <laughs> Dude, she's terrifying. Like she could just rip me apart and just swallow me whole, man. Like, look at her. She is um, a beast. Yeah, that's that's I was like, she looked like she evolved from the last from the last <laughs> album like, like honestly, a pokemon she evolution straight went through an evolution <laughs> like she went through a pokemon band. evolution she is the next stage now <laughs> the whole band went through an evolution to be honest like it Damn, really does crazy. if and you'll see what i mean by that i'm also not getting power metal vibes it is power metal i i do get the power metal vibes but you're right it's more in the neoclassical kind of like unlucky morpheus but unlucky morpheus has a lot of power metal in the songs there is That's too i feel like power metal is spawned from yeah, from classical also, so you get a little bit of that. Yeah, Unlucky world. Morpheus has a lot of power metal elements, but they kind of have breaks. Like Unlucky Mor, I mean, Love Bites is like go 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 go. Unlucky Morpheus, there's breaks in between, you know. So true, true. <laughs> Yeah, this is wicked. I got that. This is where this is where the power metal pops in, and I, I I'm getting strong like Iron Maiden vibes from this part. So somebody gave me the uh, gave me some um a good point. It's like classical power metal. I would agree with that for sure. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. So, I love I love this vibe though. This vibe is like this is awesome. Like I love that they have like the gothic sound coming into it. The power metal kind of frees up a little bit into the chorus, and you get this lead that's coming mm-hmm. over. But the speed never slows down. Like the drum speed. 
yeah. is just fucking continuous, man. It's continuous. But like because yeah. of the way that they change shift around the guitar styles coming into the pre-chorus and the chorus. By the way, the pre-chorus was awesome. I love those those sort of high pitched power note uh p- uh power notes. Those high pitched um <laughs> What are they called? Palm mutes. Yeah, the, palm the high pitch palm mutes. Because you don't hear that a lot. You know, a lot of most palm mutes you hear on the low string or whatever. Yeah. And they're kind of like fucking around with that. And then they also have these leads that are just kind of coming in. And they're not overwhelming, but they're there to carry the metal, the melody. Yeah. I, I just think it sounds great, man. No, that's it does sound awesome. No, I gotta I, I gotta, haven't noticed the bass yet though. I I got that's say. crazy. Like I was I was like, he didn't say anything about the bass line that just like went off. She like tapped out a she uh, slapped out a bass line right at the end. Did uh, she right go back? Well, let me hear that. <laughs> I was like, oh, you didn't hear that. Um, all right. I'm just warning you guys right now. We got a copyright warning. <laughs> it went away. Oh, boy. <laughs> it went away. That was fast. <laughs> I know. I was like, I didn't think this would happen with Love Bites. So, oh, is this? Vi- mm. No, they're not on Victor Entertainment, right? Are they? It doesn't It doesn't even matter anymore, bro. I, I, I get hit left and right from all kind of random sources Dude. now. My last two streams with Dicodic, like full band reaction, we had no takedowns. <laughs> it's so crazy. And then Love that Bites. is crazy, man. Yeah. My last stream, I got I got a warning in the in the second song, and then I got blocked on the third one, and I had to move over to to Twitch for the rest. Oh wow. Well, yeah, we need we need to set up a uh, guys and guys uh, Twitch account for sure. I think that might have mm. to be something we do. Here we go. We're yeah, gonna, probably. Let's start it. Oh yeah, there you go. Now I gotta say, she um is like building on Miho's bass lines. Like these are bass yes. lines at certain points that Miho would have done, but this is a much better tone, I think, in the music. Oh, we got another warning. Yeah, they said it's Victor. It looks like we're not gonna be able to get through this song, guys. I'm sorry. Mm. Oh, That's unfortunate. Damn it. There's I'm- always the chance. There's always the chance. Well, luckily for uh you guys, Alan, you've already done a reaction to it, right? Yes. Over on your channel? Yeah. I okay, have. so you could always go watch Alan's reaction over on Dicodec. And uh I'll do my own reaction to the full song at some point if you want to go over to Champa Medium and check it out over there. But yeah. it seems like uh the on the stream it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. We can try well, let's try. Yeah, that's a bummer Morpheus. too, because that sounded so fucking good, man. <laughs> Damn. I just like there's only two minutes of it. There's still four more minutes of the song. I know we didn't get to the bridge, and as everybody <laughs> knows, it's not a song until I get to the bridge. I need the bridge, right? right? So like you could show me the whole first you could show me everything except for a bridge, Bro. and I will not feel like Bro. I heard the this, song until I this hear song that. has the best bridge you'll ever hear ever <laughs> oh you're typing that up hard man i i'm big into the bridges you Bro, gonna take it over it, uh nema fila's atabana's bridge yes yes Ooh. i would say yes that, that was I, my bridge of the Nema-Fila's year never fill is like one of my favorites now because i love that album and i i still love never a lot like they mm. they have creeped their way up into my top three Oh, um, me too. They're they're yeah. they're probably in my top. They're definitely in my top five. Like currently, I, I could probably give you my top five. I, people are gonna get pissed, aren't they? But I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Here's my top five Japanese metal bands or Japanese <laughs> go, rock bands. Go for it. Currently, currently, right? Um, this is in no order. Okay, I'm not putting them in order. Just these are my favorite five. I think right now, Bandmade, Nemophila, Unlucky Morpheus, Love Bites. Oh man, there's a lot that could go into number five. I'm not gonna lie, but I think Dicotic. I'm gonna. Have to, no, I think I'm Japanese. gonna throw. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> we're not Japanese. The guys, you guys. <laughs> the guys, you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm throwing passcode in there. I I love it. I know that they're not like metal metal or like super like they they've got the all idol thing to it, but I think they're just so fucking cool, man. I I I don't know anybody else that sounds like them to that degree, you know. And I just yeah. love them for it. For me, it's uh. It's a uh, Nemophila, Maximum Hormone, Bandmade, Baby Metal, and then the fourth and uh, the fifth one. It's not, guys. I'm not the hugest Love Bites fan, so I'm sorry. I can't put Love Bites in there. This is just one song. They could change my yeah. mind with this album. Maybe they will. Mm. I still mm-hmm. love Love Bites, but man, it'd be hard to put them in my top five because it's not. I think I, that's how I feel about Baby Metal. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it doesn't mean I don't like the music. I love the fucking music. 
Um, the fifth spot is in contention. <laughs> I'm still deciding. Uh, I just, the fifth spot? Did yeah. you say you said maximum the hormone, right? Yeah, no order either. Oh, Hanabie is good too. But again, Hanabie is good. I haven't heard enough from them yet. I haven't heard enough either. Never feel a second album is what made me go. All right. You're in. <laughs> Damn. And I still I haven't heard that album yet either. Oh my like God, but it's I, so good. <laughs> but I've heard like four songs on. They dropped like four songs before the album came out, oh. but like and those are all good. I, I just feel like Nemophila to me is like, uh, they're just such a nice throwback. And don't get me wrong, they do other stuff outside of this, but they just like took that, that, that like 2005 sort of metal zone <laughs> yeah. that was popular at that time. And they brought it to 2022 and it just like hits me in all the right spots, you know? And, yeah. and I can't, you know, her vocals are always just if, fucking amazing. To if me. Love Bites like comes out with this album, it's like a fucking banger, like that, then they'll go in my they'll go in that top five but i have to wait until the album comes out well it's already out i already can check it yeah out. no they said it's uh not out till february the album itself no but it's for streaming already today on christmas oh yeah, yeah oh, that's what i read here underneath um i'm pretty sure okay yeah the album comes out that but i think the streaming is available today so with love bites what i think is really cool about them for me personally is that like i, I don't I am not a power metal guy. Like I, I've never been a power metal guy. I appreciate, I respect the talent that it requires. It's just not my favorite vibe or whatever. And love bites okay. for me has I, broken that. Correct. Correct to myself. Yeah. It's just a single. Sorry guys. I thought it, yeah, I okay. swore it said album on there. My bad. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, but yeah, they've broken that. Like to the point where like, you know, you know, when like a band is so good or like a musical artist is so good that it breaks through the genre that they play and you just like, love it anyway like that's how i feel about love bites like they've i don't even mind that it's power metal because it's so good that it's power metal that i want to hear exactly that's how i feel about this song um like i said in my reaction i was like all right because my favorite power metal i do have a favorite power metal band symphony x hands down number one that is a power metal that i will listen to day in day out when i heard this song i was like all right, they're in contention for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm, like, mm. I was like, all right, this is like up to that it, for me. For me, that's because like, what what, what um, are your thoughts on like, uh, you know, the 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 old classics like the the Iron Maidens and the Judas Priests of the world? I love Judas Priest. Uh, Iron Maiden, ah, eh, not so much. There, it's it's uh, and this is very Iron Maiden esque. Um, this the mm. Love Bites stuff, which is kind of, but. Like I said in my first um, Love Bites reaction, you guys probably remember, I'd much rather listen to Love Bites than Iron Maiden. <laughs> 100%. Um, I would too. I, I definitely. Well, they're, I think that they're like, but, in, more, they're more intricate first and foremost. Yeah. And, but and that's. I got to give Iron Maiden credit. I mean, they wrote, they wrote a couple of catchy hits, you know? You know they, yeah. They and do. they are good. I, yeah, I, like good. I saw Iron Maiden live in probably like 2008 or something like that. And they were like amazing. Like they sounded fantastic and um i i definitely respect the music it's just not my style of music and there are some songs i really get get into you know um uh, I, I don't symphony x is power metal foremost with progressive elements but it's mm. definitely power metal um mm -hmm. you can listen to it. somebody was saying they're progressive metal i don't i mean they have elements of progressive metal but in their core it's uh it's power metal 100 percent um it's it's just like the, the vibe like it's it's hard to explain vibe you know yeah, what i mean <laughs> it's a whole a whole vibe of it because like all this all this power metal music has this very similar thing going on you know for the most part um but some power metal bands like will add in wrenches and i think fami is love bites wrench you know mm -hmm. i think i really do i think fami is like that's the little like breakup you know like you said what, yeah what, what i did this notice about um her her playing this when we were listening to it before it was like it felt like a lot of it was um her playing the 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 root notes or whatever throughout the course of the the line that she was playing and then she'd go off the path towards the end of the line hit a couple like you know fun notes or something like that it, it actually reminded me a little bit more of misa's style than um than anybody mm -hmm. else where she's like finding the, the 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 she's staying in the box but she's finding cool ways to play around inside the box at least towards the end of the phrase i agree with the thrash metal um um comment but i have a question for you if we took away all the keyboards and stuff a lot of this becomes thrash 
That's true. I mean, that's that's power metal at its heart, right? <laughs> yeah. If you take a lot, if you take keyboards away, you kind of get thrash a little bit, you know. Love Bites at- has that one that one song too, where the I I, I, don't, I wish I could remember the the name of it. It's rock something. Uh, it's literally it, like shit. The uh, Asami comes out in the beginning. The live performance introduces every member, and it's like called like rock something. I don't fucking remember the name of it, but it's it's not power metal at all. It's just yeah. straight up a thrash I, metal. Song. I always called power metal like the clean thrash like it's like the yeah. better it's like it's like if they play their instruments better <laughs> and, and have singers that know how to sing and have singers that can <laughs> sing you know um my favorite love bite song though before this was epilogue which the epic guitar solo that they have in that um oh well that's awesome well and the, the piano yeah. and the piano yeah Every, the piano part love bites has off. some has some bangers man there's songs that i like it's just um the reason why they're not like straight up in my top five is because um for me i judge it if i like the entire album if i can like mm. an entire album and then i feel mm. like i love both the albums you know mm-hmm. love bites mm-hmm. i like about half the songs mm-hmm. give or take that's fair you know? that's fair uh, yeah and raise raise some hell is the one that i was thinking of thank you yeah. chat uh that's a really cool song and it's really not power metal at all I, I i haven't listened to like a love bites album from beginning to end so i don't know how how much i would get into it I have, but, and I just wasn't for me. I can't remember okay. which one it was. The the CD I have, I think, is like the greatest. It has like twenty songs on it. I don't. Know. I don't even. We played that one, and like I said, there were some good ones. There's like highlighted ones that are good, but they're mm-hmm. a good band. Like it, period. Like people that love this style of music, this is oh man, this is a hundred percent for you. This is like the best of the best. Like in this genre, like the, you're getting yeah. the best of the best in this genre. I agree 100%. Um, if you're like if you're a fucking if you're a power metal fan, this is this is where you should be going. <laughs> this yeah. is this so, is the move right somebody here. Somebody came up to me and was like I love power metal. They're I'm showing them on Lucky Borpheus. I mean, <laughs> well, I'll show them that too. And I'll show them Love Bites. It's cuz I was typing in Unlucky Morpheus as <laughs> <laughs> as I was but talking. but but that's true, right? Like if somebody yeah. came up to you and said, "I want to hear some some power metal," that is probably the band you would say you yeah. need to listen to, right? Yeah, yeah me too. That's People where would I would be like, go. Somebody said, "Oh, your man." I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, let me show you another band. <laughs> let, me, yeah. let me show you another band first. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Merry Christmas, Dusty. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, Merry Christmas to everyone. All right, we're gonna try on Lucky Morpheus. You want to give it a roll? I don't think they'll block us. All right, let's give Unlucky Morpheus a shot right, here. I'm excited it. for this one. You haven't heard this yet, right, Alan? I have not heard this at all. The uh, thumbnail looks cool as hell. Yeah, it does. Another weird intro. Cool. Right? Like, all these unique intros. I love that radio vibe. We got that lo-fi uh, filter going on. It sounds really cool. Oh, yeah. And they Compressed. edit the drums to match it. You don't hear that very often, like where they make sure the music uh, fits with it. I mean, the it's all going to change at once. It's yeah. all going to shift into like normal sound at the Dude, same time. This, this guy's kit is I, mean, I this is exactly how I would set my drum setup. Jesus, exactly. how many fucking pieces does he have? I used 15? to have this except missing that last Tom, but I had that many cymbals. Uh, I miss playing drums. <laughs> You're too beautiful. Ah. <laughs> oh yes already out the gate yeah the i gate. love that man that does not uh, man i love it when a band breaks free from their normal like what you expect out of them that riff and then that one violent oh yes okay let's do okay it. Let's do yeah it. That was cute. She brilliant. got a violin hook. That's awesome. It's fucking brilliant, man. A literal it's, violin hook. Like instead of a guitar hook, we got a violin one. <laughs> I, I couldn't have I couldn't have possibly imagined that this would I I've heard a lot of Unlucky Morpheus at this point. A lot of it sounds kind of similar. 
You know what I mean? Like they have their sound and it's usually a lot faster than this. I love to yeah. hear what they can do with the slower bits, you know, because that's where like, you know, it's a whole different area of creativity. And here uh, they're already showing me like this. See, riff that they wrote. This is more up my alley. Actually, I, I'm almost already 29 seconds. Since I kind of enjoying this intro more than the Love Bites intro. See what I mean? Like, this is more my style of, like, music. But you're right. Unlucky Morpheus is another band where I love them, but it's very, like, I like five songs here and other ones. Okay, they're all right. You know, same mm-hmm. same kind of idea, but... Video looks nuts. All their music videos are like this. Like every single music video, they do this crazy background. I and I'm, it's such good editing. I don't know. I like. I can't tell if it's like. I'm sure there's green screen, but like, how are they doing this? <laughs> you know mm. what I mean? It's a, it's more colorful than normal though. I always attribute like black, white, and red to yeah. Unlucky Morpheus. Yeah. Seems like they've gotten a, a boost of joy this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I step up squeal my for me baby, baby. squeal for me biggie. i want to rewind that i want to rewind that but i'm tripping out over this music video more than anything like the music, the music video really is good. crazy it's fucking crazy i'm like damn i gotta step in my music video game fuck <laughs> yeah no i hear you man like the, so the the music video itself looks fucking amazing but also like the song is man it, it's so interesting because i think that pretty much every other song that i've heard from them has been more intricate than this one uh it's it's the verses are very like you know uh it's the baseline boo 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 do 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 type of thing and then you have this one riff that is like violin guitar slash riff that was the intro and it's also the chorus right but because they do so much like fast intricate shit all the time this feels like such a nice refreshing taste of what they can do when they're not doing that stuff the progressive side just, of me, though, wants them to go off here in a second. <laughs> I, I do, too. I, I, I do, too. I want. Uh, so, again, what I just said about Love Bites and not getting to the bridge yet, this is exactly what I'm thinking now. I'm like, I love where we are in the song right now. But this this bridge, you know, it's got a cool solo. Uh-huh. But I, 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 I want it to be followed up after, too. Yeah, I'm going to back it up a little bit. We'll get it. Thank you, Unlucky Morpheus, for not blocking this. <laughs> yes. And welcome, Ryan. Welcome. <laughs> Interesting shift to the river.
good, but it didn't hit that final nail into the coffin. I like the Love Bites song better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't finished the Love Bites song yet, so I can't compare it properly. <sighs> I, but I, 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 it was good. It was, but I mean, the most impressive thing was the music video, to be honest. Like, well, I really like that riff. Like, I, I don't want, like, that riff that is carried throughout the song is a really cool, unique riff. But I do feel like it was missing that, like, one moment of, like, just losing their shit, kind of going ham. I, I would actually attribute this to being probably. The, it's weird to call anything that they do mainstream, but this has the most mainstream sound of any of the songs I've heard from them before. <clears throat> you know what? Uh, Hijinks brings up a good point. You know what? I like the Love Bites one better, but he's right. This one will probably be caught in my head. If anything, if, I, if I'm if i being objective and I listen to both of these on repeat, let's say we listen to five times each. I should try that on the stream. Listen to these songs in the beginning and see at the end of the stream which one I can recall melodies for mm. more. That'd be an interesting That's an interesting experiment. concept. Yeah, right? Welcome That's... to Varuhala. I, I mean... love that she says Varuhala. Like, it just sounds <laughs> fucking cool, man. But, like, I, yes, that is, a that is like I said, like, when I say mainstream, I don't necessarily, like, that's not a positive or negative. It's a neutral uh, sort of word for me. Uh, I just see it as like it. It is. It's catchy. It's got like that but, head hook in it. Okay, here's the thing though. They they came in with that really catchy violin like lick, right? And I was like, okay, cool. I know they're playing a lot more simple, but they they don't really return to that. So I was expecting like maybe there's gonna be like some breakout violin solo that was gonna go off. I thought they're the bridge. Mm. I'm I'm with you on this one. If the bridge was like fucking awesome and like amazing i think it would have changed my mind but uh, i don't know that was that was a very mid song like it's good i feel like so like when it comes to the bridges right i feel like uh you can you can sit with a solo as your bridge just a guitar solo if the rest of the song is like really um eclectic and changing up a lot you know what i mean but when it comes to a song that's a little bit more simple like this one where it's like they are going to repeat the verses pretty much as they came the first and second verse are pretty much the same right and then they have a pre-chorus mostly chords right and then they have this one riff that was the intro and in all three choruses of the song yeah you don't have that many parts and some of the parts are so simple that you almost expect that when they get to the to the bridge it wouldn't just be a solo it would be a new part of the song that they would have written like a creative yeah. part of the song that they would have written so i do think you could get away with having a solo as your bridge but only if the rest of the song is going crazy and i feel like this song because it was toned down required a little bit more in that bridge to kind of like make me feel personally fulfilled um yeah. from I've, it i've felt blue balled <laughs> <laughs> a little bit they because the, the, especially at the end of the um at the end of the solo it started to get like real fast and the drums went on this drum this drum roll right and it felt like they were going to pick up into something different <clears throat> but then it just went in, into the pre-chorus again now, i wonder though where does this place in the album because maybe if you're listening to this from an album experience since we know they're all very similar songs like as in the speed of the things maybe this is like the seventh track and it probably makes total sense for this mm. song to come up and that's, that's like, a great point and it's That's probably like point. this is your break in that song because unlucky morpheus is amazing <laughs> like they yeah. they will they will shred your face off so for seven tracks consecutively so maybe this was their like their this was their bridge in the album as a song you know yeah i i, I will say like i like their last song better the the, the death mansion murders or whatever it was called mm. uh, i like that song better but i think i would like this song a lot in the context of being surrounded by other shit that was just like not taking any breaks, but, you know, but imagine, it would make me feel like I needed it. Imagine if they did that guitar lead. Hear me out. They do that guitar lead. All of a sudden, Jill just comes up to the platform and then like it just went to a shredding like violin and guitar harmony right mm. there. And then going fucking insane. And mm. then they loop it around back in the and they go right. Then I would have mm. been like, fuck yes. You know, but instead it was like, oh, here's a little lead and. Back to the course. I'm like, oh, yeah, it was like, <laughs> I just, I just, yeah, no, I'm with you, man. Like, I, I don't really get into guitar solos in the middle of songs that are, that are yeah. slow. I just, most of the time, that's not my thing. And like, 
I do feel like it was a good guitar solo, yeah. but man, I've heard Unlucky Morpheus do that thing where they go back and forth with the guitar and the pian- and the uh, violin solos. Yeah, you know, like even a couple songs where they literally will have like the violinist play the exact solo that the guitarist just yeah. played right before, right? And that's a really cool call and response type of situation. I love that shit, right? Yeah. And they could have done something like that in this one. I feel like they probably toned it down intentionally to make mm. this the the breather. They said on it was, the album they said it was track four so i can see that being breather it depends on what the first three tracks are if the first if the first three tracks are just like ripping your face off i could totally see this that's a good break mm-hmm. you know <laughs> I, I just always want a little more violin i think too like she yeah. was featured prominently in the uh in the riff the main riff of the song but the yeah, rest of the song she was kind of backgrounded <clears throat> oh like it was perfect yeah the man. See, that was really cool that's the thing like the first like 20 seconds of the song sounds really cool because those are all of the parts of the song. You know what I mean? So like that's I think sorry. That's where I go, okay, the first the first quarter of the song is awesome because it's all new stuff that we haven't heard them do before, right? Yeah. But then the rest of the song is those things being repeated. Yeah. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have any repetition in a song. I'm just saying that like I don't want to hear everything that the song has to offer outside of like, you know, the pre-chorus. In well, the very or, beginning of the or song. Or have repetition with added layers, you know. Yeah, yeah. Little, like, little changes, adjustments or something adjustments, like that. You know. <clears throat> yeah, but ultimately, like, I'm I'm giving the song a thumbs up because I liked the sound of it. I like the vibe. I like the chorus and I like the main riff. But I do think that there was possibly some missed opportunities in it to make it go from good to great. Yeah. And That's not even, like, a little bit of a missed opportunity. It's like... If they would have just done it, it would have been a fantastic fucking song. You know? it, yeah, it, yeah. Has, it has the potential to be fucking fantastic. But you know what? That's them. That's how they wanted to write it. That's how they want to create it. That's the art that they designed. So also in the same yeah. way, it's like, uh, yeah. I mean, I was yeah. like, that's how they want it. Like we could be, I could be saying this all day, but, uh, but yeah. But it's true. But it's true. If they, if they had replaced that guitar solo in the bridge with a three part bridge with like three different new riffs yeah. and maybe like a guitar solo as the second riff of it, you know what I mean? Then the song to me is like, it's entered greatness. Dude, every, <laughs> every single frame in this music video is a poster on my wall. Like, <laughs> like, uh, like it really, like this, like I could go uh, right there. Perfect poster yeah, for dude. the wall. It looks like the Everywhere. posters that you buy at the stoner shops and the fucking yeah, at the beach. Yeah, right? Like this, uh, honestly, music wow, video does was, look beautiful. Music video is oh more God. complex. The music video is more complex than the song. <laughs> look say. at that. Just go, just go go back to another couple frames. Just to, I want to see if every frame is that crazy. Oh, dude, I think every almost every frame, dude. Look at that. Look yeah, at this. Like every frame, they all look different and they all look nuts. Like that's another poster. Like, oh, hold on. Oh, look at this one. That's an, we got another one here in the works. Play. Uh, I don't know. Oh wow! Did you see that? Look at all those zoom in. The way it like yeah, the goes zoom into in there and then and out again. Out. That was really cool. Like what the fuck? Like I can marvel over this music video all day. Like honestly, go this... back to that again. I want to see how they did that one more time. That zoom in was nuts. I, I found another the zoom into the drums and then outside. Oh, where was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's so crazy that's man so like cool i can't even looking. like wrap my brain around it i know it's so insane like i like they have me really fooled because i was like it has to be green it has to be somewhat green screen but at first i was thinking maybe they're not all there because i did that with our bandmate cover right like vicky's not mm-hmm. in the take with us but it looks like she's playing with us it's because we mm-hmm. green screened her in the setting to make it look like she's playing with us uh-huh. um so I wonder if they're doing that. I don't know if all the members are actually in here. And they look at that. That's fucking nuts, bro. But, I am sorry, but that but is just nuts. Here's the thing. I think maybe one or two of the members might be green screen, and that's how they made it this work so well. And then I think the drummer was probably filmed, like they were there on set together. I could be completely wrong. I'm making guesses. They could have here. Set, they could have be at two separate locations also filming yeah. the same thing at two separate Cause locations. Because look at how they're perfectly distanced. Look at it's a perfect measurement. I'm sorry, my video yeah. editor thing is coming out of me right now <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but like, it's like perfect distance. If you look at Jill, the guitarist to the left, perfect distance to the right, perfect distance. Um, and with green screening, that makes your life easier. 
when you're trying to mm-hmm. do all these special effects going around. I could be wrong. I probably am wrong, but I'm just thinking because of my experience when we did the bandmate video. But and the um, maybe none of them are real. Maybe nothing we're looking at is real. They're all <sighs> CGI. All of the band is just CGI'd into this video. Yeah, yeah. It could, dude. I mean, some of these shots of her, it, I wouldn't be surprised. If, some cgi going on look at that that yeah. is a poster though <laughs> you're at, fucking right bro every, every single poster. frame is a goddamn poster this look is at nuts this. just all video they're like this is fucking insane like, yeah dude honestly like look it at, makes me like the song uh, better <laughs> like oh, just oh, look seeing at, how crazy the video spots is spots right here they're in different spots like jill's on the right hand side instead of the left hand side this is a mirror effect Oh yeah. Well, they've been mirroring them the whole time because they, you could see multiple versions of them in a lot of the shots. Ah, uh, dude, this is just fucking insane. This look, look at look dude, at her. That, that, and that's not even that's not even like a crazy shot or anything, but it looks <laughs> so good. It looks so fucking sick. Um, uh, I would literally, I would literally cover an entire room just with shots from this music video. I know it's so good. Look at that. Look at same distance. Everything is imperfect like like perspective yeah uh, we're gonna have to yeah, turn we're gonna have to take this video out and be like um video editor reacts <laughs> uh, yeah right. <laughs> look at this <laughs> it, it is it's every frame it's literally every frame oh my god every frame <laughs> oh then we got you want a black and white she's such a cutie too oh hey there there's the normal unlucky morpheus that i'm used to saying <laughs> It's it's like once that did it change when the it changes so when the beautiful. song changes into a, uh, out of the compression right yeah oh she's so beautiful here a little play right there I think as soon as the compression ends the color is coming oh look at the color coming in slowly the color is slowly creeping in that's so, so through cool. the rise. <laughs> Because she's rising up now. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. really cool. She's bringing it out with the vocals. Yeah. So. You see it bleeding in. Yeah, it's cool. It's, uh, this, this is probably their coolest music video. And, and like, I mean, the, the, again, like, like I've, a lot of their music videos are actually really cool, especially since they're an indie band and they don't have as, as much, they don't have like a big label backing them financially or anything like that. This, you would think, would be made by like a top tier. You know, like some a band that was <laughs> not yeah. paying to make music videos, but a label that was paying to make them. I always forget that they're indie. You know, like that's yeah. that's the thing. When um, you're that good, you can do that. You know, that's crazy, man. That's just, yeah. That was, that was good shit. I I, <laughs> I love the video. I like the song. And that's that's where I'm gonna end on that. Uh, and look at this wide angle shot. Like they did the wide angle. See, that's how the video comes out. Mm-hmm. That a lot of them are starting to come out that way nowadays. Yeah. Ah oh, man, that's so cool. That's so yeah, cool. That is Anyways. pretty sick. Yeah. I wonder what Ryan said about it. I guess we gotta go over to Mr. Muir's channel after this and check out his <laughs> check, thoughts. Check out his reaction to it. Um I'm reacting with, to this song with the band. I wonder what they're gonna think. I don't think Eric's gonna like this one, to be honest. Too know. slow? Actually no, Eric will like it. Eric will like it the most. Frank won't. Um, hands down the drummer won't like it for sure. The drums were were pretty basic for a good chunk of it, so I could see that. But mm. uh, man, has he heard Unlucky Morpheus before? Because I feel like he would like a lot of their other stuff. Eric's a huge fan of Unlucky Morpheus. Okay, so he's uh, he's like you. He's like one of his favorites. Yeah, um, they're really sure. really good. They're really really good. This is definitely the most uh, this is the ba- most basic of their songs. But again, like I said, it's not. I'm not super upset about it because every other song that I've heard from them has been so fast and technically intricate that. I'm cool with one being a little bit uh, less so. And uh, that chorus was catchy, man. Welcome to the Like that. I like that. Like I yeah. dig that sound. No, I do too. But uh, that being yeah. said, the stream just started dipping. We'll just do it. We'll sign up. <laughs> hey, well, we this is a good it. time to end anyway, because we, we got to go it. do, uh, we got to enjoy Festivus, right? Yeah. Go and um, if you want to support the channel further, go ahead and check out. We have a bunch of shirts. Guys, you got shirts up and available. We have uh, a lot of Japanese band inspired designs our Patreon mm-hmm. where we have uh, group reactions um, mm-hmm. memberships we do giveaways like uh, bandmate postcard over here we're going to be doing a giveaway um, whenever we meet up on Sunday I don't know when that is and the know. discord also uh, we're doing the battle of the songs right now with baby metal so if you want to get your votes in yeah that's, and then there's that 
All right, guys. See you guys in the next one, all right? See you. Adios, everybody. Merry Christmas.